Glory be to Jesus. Good morning. This is Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International. It's a blessing again to come your way with God's word of hope for your day today. This is the day the Lord has made for you. You will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not sure what you wake up to and I'm not sure what has happened in the night, but I'm sure of one thing that God still loves you and he has a plan for this day for you. And the purpose of this word of hope is to pray that God will lead you into his purpose for your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I want to speak to you from Psalm 23 and the verse number four. Psalm 23 is a very famous scripture. The Lord is my shepherd. But in verse four, he goes on to say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. When David wrote this scripture, when King David wrote this scripture, he was going through the valley of the shadow of death. He has lost privilege. He's running away from King Saul. And the scripture tells us that he assured himself by faith that even though I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. This morning I pray in Jesus' name that you will not fear any evil. For God is with you and his rod and his staff will comfort you. You see, loss is a common source of stress. Loss is a common source of stress. This morning, I just want to share briefly with you on how to overcome some stresses that come in your life. Loss is one of the common source of stress. You see, you can lose your job, your health, your money, your reputation, or a loved one. And when people go through loss, you see two common reactions. One is fear and the other is grief. You see, grief is good. Grief is the way we get through the transitions of life. In fact, if you don't grieve, you get stuck. Grief will not kill you if you let it out. Grief is designed to help us overcome the bottled up and the built up pain that is in us. Sometimes we let it out through grief. So there's a positive aspect of grief. And we must learn as believers to get over it. The Bible says Jesus at the, way, at the grave of Lazarus, he cried. The apostles at the burial of Stephen, they made great lamentation. So sometimes crying itself is not an act of unbelief. It is a way, it's therapeutic and it's all right. It's okay. It's okay so long as we are in God. So you see, if you don't grieve, you will get stuck. Grief will not kill you if you let it out. But on the other hand, fear is a very bad thing. Not once does the Bible say grieve not. The Bible didn't say you know, mourn not, weep not, or cry not. What the Bible says is fear not, because fear is dangerous. And the Bible says that 365 times. Listen, grief doesn't paralyze, but fear can paralyze you. The Bible says fear has torments. David said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. He didn't say I will not grieve. I will fear no evil. This morning as you go about your day, I don't know what evil you have had. I don't know who has threatened you, but there's a God who is your lover, who is your creator, who has the blueprint for your life. And I came to assure you because of him, you don't have to be afraid. You see, shepherds always carried a rod and a staff to protect their sheep. And David knew that in the same way, God has the tools to protect him. And he trusted God even in the darkest valleys. You might be going through the valley of the shadow of death. The valley of a shadow right now. Maybe it's the valley of the shadow of deaths. The valley of the shadow of owing people. The valley of the shadow of conflict. You may be in the valley of the shadow of depression. You may be in the valley of the shadow of discouragement. The valley of the shadow of a divorce. The valley of a shadow of a confusion in the marriage. The valley of a shadow of the problem with a child. Shadows are scary. But remember being afraid of shadows when you were lying in bed as a child. You remember those ones? Yeah. But I have learned a few things about shadows. When we're children, you're afraid of shadows. When the light goes off and a little ray of light and you see movement, you're afraid of the shadows. But I've learned something about shadows. Shadows cannot hurt you. And secondly, shadows are always bigger than the source. And here's more good news. Wherever the shadow is, wherever there is a shadow, there has to be light. Because you can't have a shadow without light. 
So the key when you are going through the valley of the shadow is to turn your back on the shadow and look at the light. Because as long as you keep looking at the light and your eyes are on the light with Jesus Christ, the light of the world, the shadow will not scare you. And that's how we go through the valley of the shadow of death. That's how you lower your stress. You trust God in the dark valleys just like David did. The Bible says David said, he prayed and said, I am ready to give up. He knows what I should do if I decide to give up. Psalm 142 verse 3. David said that. And in Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 6, the Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. I pray this morning for you in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ that anything that is stressing you, any shadow that is scaring you, remember it's just a shadow. Jesus is able to dispel all shadows and being the light of the world, his light will shine in your darkness. I see you blossoming again. I see you rising again. Your case is not a hopeless case. God is on your side. All things will work around for your good in the name of Jesus. This morning as you go about your day, may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his great countenance on you and give you peace. I pray that the Lord preserve your life from sudden untimely death and may God give you grace to overcome every stress in Jesus' most excellent and holy name. And until I come your way again tomorrow, I'm Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International. You are more than a conqueror. Have a blessed and fruitful day. Bye-bye.